Guys, I would like to share with you an acceleration problem I occurred while I was driving, as this could happen to any car. So listen to this. While I was driving uphill, I wasn't getting any acceleration increase power at all, nor my speedometer was going above 20 miles per hour at certain times. Also, I was left with a bad smell at the end of my driving, so there was something stopping my car picking up the speed. My RPM dial is fine when in stationary, also when I'm driving. So the first thing that I thought which came in my mind was my exhaust pipe which sounded perfectly well while revving up my car but I thought I'll get this checked out as I knew I had corrosion build up previously with slight air holes which can cause draining your fuel. I had it welded before but it only lasts in between 6 months to a year or two depending upon your usage. So I decided to get it changed. After I drove off it still occurred with the same problem. So I had the diagnostic check done and the reports came back advising to check the EGR sensor. I was advised to get that changed as I bought one second hand from the scrapyard costing about £20. After replacing the EGR sensor did another diagnostic check and no faults appeared. So I drove off again and still wasn't getting any acceleration power. I came back and ramped it up, got it checked thoroughly and come to know the rear wheels were not freely spinning. So we found the fault in the brake calipers which was stopping the back wheels to accelerate. As you can see here there is wear and tear on the piston seals. Got the brake calipers second hand too from the scrapyard. Cost me about £30 each without fittings. The job of the caliper is to slow the car's wheels by creating friction with the rotors. The brake caliper fits over the rotor like a clamp. Each caliper is a pair of metal plates bonded with friction material. These are called brake pads. So before placing the new calipers in we had to bleed out the brake fluid. Once the calipers were fitted gave the wheel a spin and now spins freely without any hesitation. Back on the road again gave you a test and had my problem solved. So guys if you come across this fault firstly I recommend to ramp up your car and check the brake calipers first. If that is not the case then go for a diagnostic check as garages do charge to test your car. I also recommend buying a good car fault cold reader so you can do the test yourself and don't have to pay each time trying to find the fault in your car as vehicles do pick up its age and mileage so will the wear and tear. Overall I'm happy and the car is driving perfectly well. Hope this helps guys and should catch you in the next one. Peace.